maximum point, then maximum point, then points of inflection. And there are two kinds of tests. First one is the first derivative test. Second one is the second derivative test. Okay, so it depends on which one you want to use. But sometimes, if the second one is inconclusive, you have to go back to the first one. Okay, so next, we are going on to maxima and minima problem. Now, this one, uh, it can be quite uh, frightening if you do not know how to start. But once you get the hang of it, it should be okay. It's quite easy. Okay? Alright, now let's take a look at the first type of question. Okay? Now, you look at page 59 first. For a function y equals to fx, if dy dx is 0 and x equals to a, then there is a stationary point at a, right? Alright, now, page 59. And f a is a stationary value, correct? Now, if b two y b x squared is less than zero, then this one must be the maximum value, okay? And for b two y b two x is bigger than zero, then this guy got to be a minimum value. Agree? Ah? Yes or no? Okay, ah. All right. Now let's take a look at example six. All of look at example six. Two positive numbers x and y vary in such a way that x y is forty eight. And now, the number z is defined by z equals to 3x plus y. Let's look at part 1. Show that z is equal to 3, blah, blah. Now, can you see that in part 1, your y is gone? Can you see it? You're left with z and x, right? That means you must put y in terms of x. Agree? Okay. Let's call this equation 1. Let's call this equation 2. From 1, y is 48 over x. Okay, yeah. So, let's call this equation 3. Substitute 3 into 2. I'll have z equals to 3x plus 48 over x. Am I right? Okay, so z equals to Like that, right? Correct. Have I gotten what I'm supposed to get? I've got to factorize out what? I've got to factorize out what? 3. But actually, I don't need to do until like that. Correct. Because they only want the one that is in the textbook. I mean, in the question. So, if you don't do until like that, first I take out 3, right? Left with what? x plus 16 over x. So, so, everybody okay? This one is actually a Emacs question. Can you see how this part one? Okay, now part two. Calculate the value of x for which z has a stationary value and show that this value of x makes z a minimum. Okay, regardless of whether it is a maximum or minimum value, uh, dy, dx, or d whatever, whatever must be zero, right? Correct. Okay, so let's take a look first. What is dz dx? Now actually if you differentiate this one easier than uh, than when you uh what do you call factorize out now can I write this as easier? Right? So what is this when I differentiate? Negative 48x minus 2, right? So this is actually 3 minus 48 over x squared when I differentiate. So the question said, calculate the value of x for which z has a stationary value. So when dz dx is 0, I will have 3. Alright? So 48 over x squared must be equal to 3, right? 3x squared must be 48, right? What's x squared? 16, right? What's x? Plus minus 4, right? Now, do I have to reject one of them? If yes, why? What did the question say? 
X and Y are what? Positive values. So, reject negative, am I right? So, X is just equal to 4. Everybody clear? X is just equal to 4. Is everyone okay here? Now, then they say, show that this value of X, that means Z has a stationary value when X equals to 4. Understand? Now, how do I see that? Okay, all of you look up. Some people are always confused. Huh? Can you see I do dz dx? If dz dx is equal to 0, that means this value, this z must either have a maximum or minimum value. Because dz dx is equal to 0 at this value. Okay, so now I must show that it is what? Minimum, right? Agree or not? Now, I'm going to do d2z dx squared. Now, I'm going to rewrite this. Huh? I differentiate this again. This one becomes what? Nothing. So this one becomes 96 x minus 3. So this one becomes 96 over x u x. Okay. okay. Separate, huh? Okay? Now, when x is 4, right? The 2 z the x square will be 96 over 4 q right? Do you agree this must be a positive number? If this is a positive number, means what? It is a minimum, right? So, z is a minimum. Now, it's no longer the minimum point. It's a minimum value. You understand what I'm talking about? It's a minimum value. Get it? Now, what if you get this as less than zero? Then this is a maximum value. Everybody clear? Ten? Okay, huh? So this is your example six. Okay, I'm moving on to more difficult examples. Already. Are we okay with this first one? Okay, next, move on to example seven. Okay, 
listen up now. So, when I want to do DP, DB, if I equate this to zero, it will either give me a maximum or a minimum parameter, right? At this particular value of B, when it is zero, right? You understand what I'm talking about? Now, then you will ask me, Joe, can I do it in terms of like I put B equals 100 over L? Can. Then it will be the P D L. Understand? Uh? The parameter will be maximum or minimum at a particular value of L. It doesn't matter. Because if it is the minimum, then everything will be the minimum. You get what I'm talking about here. Okay? Now, let me read like this. I'm differentiating with respect to B. Uh? So what will this give me? Negative 200 B minus 2 plus 2, right? So what's this? Negative 200 over B squared plus 2, right? Everybody okay? Okay, now, so, when DP, DB is 0, I will get I will get 200 over B squared is 2 over 1. Right? I cross multiply. 2 B squared is 200. B squared is 100. B is actually plus minus 10. Right? Do I have to reject one of them? Why? Breath, breath cannot be negative. Right? So you will say reject negative. So B is just equals to 10. But don't forget, when it's equal to 0 and B is this value, it can be either the maximum or the minimum. You must prove that it is the minimum because the questions say they want the minimum. Everybody clear? So, I'm going to do D2P, DD squared, right? Differentiate another time. What will this give me? Oh, not negative. Positive when divide. Become what? 400B minus 3, right? That's all. So 400 over B cube, right? Can see it? Okay, so when B is 10, D square P over D B square will be 400 over 10 Q. Right? This is confirmed positive, agree? Positive means what? P is a minimum, agree? Right? Agree? P is a minimum. Okay, that means when B is dead, P is a minimum, correct? Okay, now the problem is what did the question ask for? Because some people they don't want to hear, they'll be happy ever after, you know. Uh, the princess and the prince are there. Okay, they want to find the minimum possible parameter, you know. Correct? So, this is the minimum possible breath right? Okay, now, all the color. If B is 10, what will be my L? L will also be what? 10, right? Okay, that means actually this is not a rectangle, no. What is it? It's actually a square. Alright, let me just tell you something. A square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. Just like an equilateral triangle is an isosceles triangle, but an isosceles triangle is not an equilateral triangle. Agree? And you must know all this, you know. Later, I ask you to try to set Venn diagram, then you know. What is subset of what? Then finish die. You get what I'm talking about? Clear up. Okay? Now, so, after I find this, are we done? No. So, minimum P will be 10 plus 10. Times 2, right? Because my remitter mark. So it will be a 40 cm. Everybody clear? So this is the minimum possible parameter. Everybody clear? Now, then some people will always ask me this question. Sure, the question already say minimum. So must we still test that it's a minimum? You get what I'm talking about? So straight away, Papa, only one very muscle must be minimum when you are. Must you still test? The answer is yes. Cambridge give one mark for this testing. We are told that you must test it. You don't assume. 
everybody clear? I went for the marking thing. They told us straight on the face. They must test, even if they are being told. Understand? Can or not? This is a double confirm, alright? Everybody okay so far? Okay. Then we are going on to the two more difficult examples. That is example 8. I'm going to read through the question first. It looks very terrible. Okay, because trigger is involved. So don't, don't think that our life is so simple. Huh? Yes, trigo. The diagram shows a piece of paper. You know, this is not a question, right? If you ever come to an exam, a lot of people will just skip this question. Because you see the picture also frightened, what are they doing? So they do all the rest first. But um, can I tell you that please all do all the rest and come and look at this question again. See whether you can do it. Okay, don't just ignore it forever, okay? Now, the diagram shows a piece of paper in the form of an equilateral triangle, P, Q, R, of side Y, C, N. Can I see it now? Then a smaller equilateral triangle, right? of side XCN is cut off from each corner of PQR. Understand? Show that the area of each triangle that is cut off is this guy down there. So how? Show away, see star? No, come, let's take a look. I have a triangle. I know this is equilateral. So this is actually a Y Y, Y, right? One more thing about equilateral triangle is what? All these are how many degrees? 16. If you don't know this, go back to your set one teacher and ask. What's that? Huh? Then they say three equilateral triangles are being cut off like this with a length of what? X. Everybody okay? They want you to show the area of this triangle is that one. Agree. So I just cut off that piece first, uh, this particular triangle, uh, and then lock it. Now, if I drop a perpendicular, uh, okay, we know this is 60, right? Correct. This, I call it the height, okay? Yeah? Okay, now actually, yeah, no need to be so troublesome. I also can get right. Okay? I don't need to be so troublesome. Find a five. Do you remember the area of a triangle is half A B size C? Yes or no? So, area of triangle is half X X size 60, right? Now, 60 is a special angle. Correct now. 60 is a special angle. Everybody clear? Okay, now, how, what is the special value for sine 60? Cannot remember. I think you something, okay? This is an equilateral triangle. Alright? I let all the sides be two. Can? Can or not? Can. The equilateral now? Then, I drop a perpendicular. Okay? This will divide into one one, correct? Okay? Do you agree this is 60 degrees? This is one right, this is 90 right. Okay, two and one. This one will be three right by Pythagoras theorem. Four minus one square root. So root three. So what is sine? Opposite over hypo. Understand? In fact, this triangle is very good. I can also find 30 degrees, you can see it. I can also find cosine tangent of 30. I don't need to go and memorize. I never memorize things, so I can't stand memorizing things. You know what I'm talking about? It's from here, it's from here, it's from here. Do you understand? You don't understand, now must understand, I don't care. You follow? So, 60, 30, you can get from this type of triangle. Then I ask you, 45, how to get? This is isosceles. So this is if this is one, this is one, right? So by Pythagoras theorem, this is what? Root 
to right. You can get sine cosine tangent of 45 straight from here. No need to memorize a stupid table, understand? You cannot stand people memorizing things. Huh? You understand? You can see it out. Huh? Also, you don't like that, can't read. You don't need to go to what? What's good? Of course, you double check your calculator. Huh? Huh? See whether it's correct. Huh? Okay? okay, so what is sine 16? Root 3 over 2 right. Okay, so this will be. Show, you can see it. Huh? Half A, B, sine C, can see. Everybody okay? Can? Can or cannot? Did your teacher show you this last year? To get the special angles. So now you know, uh, I'm not going to repeat it. Uh. Is that clear? That is what I told my class when I started Trigo. You don't go and memorize nonsense. No time, your brain not enough, you understand? Uh? Because on the same day, maybe you got SS and got AMAX, then how? Then the brain not enough to memorize a lot of things, understand? Okay? Now, next, given that the parameter of the remaining shape u, v, w, x, y, z is 18 cm squared, oh sorry, 18 cm, show that the area A of the remaining is this rubbish down there. You understand what they're talking about here? Can or cannot? Can or cannot? Cannot? Okay. Life is difficult, but can you see? Can you see this life is very difficult here? Yeah? <laughs> can see ya? Uh, what are you talking about in the first place? I don't understand also. Come, let's repeat again. Given that the parameter of the remaining shape is 18 cm, what do we mean by that? All of you look up. That means the green color one, this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this is 18 right? Okay, we are supposed to show what nonsense? The area of that particular red piece, oh sorry, green piece, is given by that nonsense down there. Can you see? Okay, now, may I know this is x right? How much is this? Very good. This is y minus 2x right? How about this? Also y minus 2x right? How about this? Also y minus 2x. All this add up will be 18 right? Okay, understand now. Okay, right? Let's do it. Okay, so what do I have? How many x here? 3x. Plus 3 times of this, right? y minus 2x must give me 18. Agree? Yes or no? Okay, now I'm going to put y in terms of x, huh? So 3x plus 3y minus 6x is equals to 18. 3y minus 3x is equals to 18. 3y is 18 plus 3x, right? That means y is equals to 6 plus x. I'm not doing anything, I'm just simplifying here. Can I see? Y is equals to 6 plus x, right? Everybody okay here? Okay. Just now I show that this small square, not square, what's that called? triangle is root 3 over 4 x squared. Hello? Hello? Yeah. That means the area of this big triangle uh, will be root 3 over 4 y squared. Same logic. Because now it's the big triangle mark is y mark. So half a, b, sin c mark. Can see it now? Hey, talking to you. Yeah. So how to get this piece area? This one minus three times of this one, right? Talking to you, yeah? Okay, good. So, so half uh, area will be this one minus three times of this one, right? Everybody clear? Okay? But can you see that the particular one don't have y, all in terms of x? So I must put this one in, right? Alright? Yes, well, this one is my equation 1, this one is my equation 2. So substitute. Okay? 
y equals to 6 plus x into 2. I will have a equals to square root 3 over 4, 6 plus x squared. Correct? I'm supposed to simplify this one. Everybody clear? I'm supposed to simplify this one. Okay, so how to simplify it? Huh? Root 3 over 4, 36 plus 12x plus x squared minus 3 root 3 over 4, x squared, right? Correct? Right, no, you must show that it becomes what? Huh? So, what should I say like this? Must show like that. So, Usually what I'll do is that I'll expand out first. Then I see slowly now. Huh? So I'm very confused. Understand? Okay, so I will have uh, 9 put 3, right? 9 times plus what? 3 put 3x, three right? Then plus put 3 over 4x squared minus Agree class? Okay. I want to do something here. What is this minus this? Minus 2 times, right? You left minus 2 times. Agree? Are you okay? I'm not okay. Trust me. Okay, la la la. I don't understand. I'll explain it again. I can take out x squared, alright? What is this minus this? This is 1 ma, okay, mo. Then 1 minus this is how many? Minus 2 la ma, correct? So this is a minus 2 root 3 over 4, right? Which means it's what? Root 3 over 2 x squared, right? Because I simplify la ma. <laughs> I feel like laughing, but I do not laugh at my students, I'm laughing at myself. I, 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 I minus from here. Oh, here to all minus on here. Okay? You can see, yeah? Okay, yeah? It's all, yeah? Okay, good, right? So, 9 root 3 plus 3 root 3 x minus root 3 over 2 x squared. Correct? Everybody wonderful? Yes. So, what's the next step? I must take out root 3 over 2, right? To show like this. So, I take out root 3 over 2. Can you see this one left? Minus x squared, very good. I'm very happy now. You can see? Really? This one is 6. So, what should be left behind? Do you agree? This one, when I times 6, I'll get 3 root 3. Then this one, I must what? 18, then I get 9 root 3. So you just pinch it look a bit and then just do that. So sometimes when they show stage show is good, or you can pinch it a bit. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I have this one right now. Can you see I plug in this? Can you see uh, when I times on uh, I get back? So I show already. Everybody clear? I show already. Understand? This will be the last example. No time already. The next one I'll do it tomorrow. There's no more work for today. I'm happy, right? I'm so happy. Uh. When I say this, you know what's so happy? Because tomorrow I'll do the homework. Am I right to say that? Oh, huh? where's that? Like that. Like, Michelle, every time talking my own homework like that. Okay, now, last part. I haven't finished. Uh. Don't be so happy. Uh. Still got one last part. Uh. Wow, you think what? Like that. Finish already. Let's show the area. Like that. Then, hence, find the maximum value of A as X varies. Justify your answer. What? Right there, huh? Okay. Now, I just want to tell the class this. If you want to find maximum value of A, you must find the A in X, right? Correct. Or? Is this correct? Why you got 6x squared? Plus 6x or 6x squared? 6x. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the A, the X. Okay? So, some people, uh, when they do product rule, they're very funny. All of the look up here, please. All of the look up here. I want to tell you something.
something. You fix this, you differentiate this, right? Then after that, you fix this, you differentiate this, right? When you differentiate this, what does it give you? Zero. So actually, the next one is nothing. Because some people simply put something, that's why it's wrong. Okay? So I fix this, I differentiate this, become what? 6 minus 2x, okay? Yes or no? So when dA dx is 0, I will have this. That means x must be equal to 3, right? The real. x must be equal to 3. But what did the question say? Look at the question again. I have not finished. Hence, find the maximum value of A as X varies, justifying your answer. Okay. They want the maximum. So, I must do into A X squared. Okay, I must differentiate this guy. Right? So, it will be root 3 over 2 times negative 2, right? So, do you agree this is a negative value? Less than 0, so must be maximum, right? Correct. Right, must be maximum A. Agree? Okay, but you must find this A. You know. What is the maximum A? You know? This one only proves A is maximum. Okay, what's the maximum A? So, maximum A will be root 3 over 2, 18 plus 6 times 3, right? Because we found out this is 3, minus 3 squared. Okay? Understand? So, we plug in 3, and then we found the answer as 27 root 3 over 2. This is your maximum value of A. Understand what I'm saying? Can or cannot? Talking to 4 3 or talking to the wall? Can or? Everybody okay? Can or? No problem. Good. So, are you alright with example 8? Okay, uh, not easy. Uh, not easy at all. Okay. Which part you don't understand? Can or? Can up. Okay. Alright, now tomorrow I will continue with example 9 and the homework. Uh, please just stop the video.